Ogiaco having two fouls. Mike Young deciding to play Ogiaco with the two. He's got P.J. Horn on the bench. Nice drive by Wabi Sabini. A shot to beat anybody. There's Nolly in the paint. Little touch down low. Got clock. One or two passes. And here's Mr. Instant Offense. Jalen Cohn is second three. Break the drought. Johnson buries a three. Done a very nice job this season defending the three. This is one of the candidates for freshman of the year in the league. And there he is. Landers Notley a chance at an N1. He was aggressive. He was attacking. You know, at times I think Landers Notley could settle. Sore off the window. And one opportunity for Jacoby Neath. Sar has been active. He's counting. Least favorite shot of all. One foot inside the line, deflection, but Musius comes down with it. Skip pass to White for three. Andrew to Kansas. Danny Manning, an assistant at Kansas. That is a much needed bucket for Nolly that stops an 11-0 win run. You know, he found a team that can compete in this league because of that ability to knock down three-point shots. Look at this. Saar in transition. And Olivier Saar has murdered Virginia Tech. I'm 6'7". But, you know, I was a jumper, too. And the tough part about that is to, to get reps in practice. Nolly strong to the rack, but rejected by Saar. Fortunate for Tech as Radford there to put it back in. Comes away with it. And a game of runs and Tyrese ran for the one-man wrecking crew at the moment for Mike Young. Mike Young wants more of from Nolly. That work on the defensive end. Beautiful job under the basket for Tyrese Radford. Landers Nolly, the body type to me, it is unmistakable how much physically he looks like DeAndre Hunter. To attack the, the basket more. There is Beatty. Just solid. Abisa Beatty, just solid. He is the best pure distributor. Speaking of, he goes to Sharon Wright. And a beautiful up and under. That was. Yeah, that Clemson win tonight. Clemson, in their last three games, took on the research triangle. Beat NC State. And they are letting them play here in this second half. Two on one the other way. And Nolly off the window. That's the wrong conversation. It, College basketball on the whole has been too physical. And I think J.D. Collins wanting to dial it. With all these rule changes, establishing the offensive cylinder. Making it easier to score. That is plenty easy for P.J. Horn. And they're starting to get a ton of deflections. The other way, Radford. What a feed. Beatty. Georgia Tech, I think, is, is going to have a chance here to win some games. Of course, not eligible for the tournament, but that's a whole other conversation. But they have nobody else around him who can consistently score, and teams know that. They're not very consistent defensively, as Neath knocks down a three. And misses off him. Bone never shy for three. Very lucky to have Mike Young at the helm, and they are going to watch a super entertaining brand of basketball for years to come. I should be on, a, in a, on an NBA roster at some point. Ooh. Every minute as Cone continues his surge. Ability. That's classified. Take it easy. Let's not get into that. He's Redford. It says we better than I. <laughs> so I, I got into some French press coffee discussion. He says bonjour, and it's a single digit lead again. PJ Horn is sort of an underrated piece of what happens for Virginia Tech. When you need a big play, more often than not, he's in the middle of it. Here's a 53 that goes down. The next six combined, he's got 22. Taking a dip offensively. What a strong power move for Radford.
Hubbard. Oh, my word. Now, he is lefty, but don't get it twisted. That is some sauce coming at you. Tyrese Radford through contact with a little bobble. Double double for him. Arlene, the Southpaws are doing it for the Hokies. But at this point, yeah, I mean, I think you, you could serve to throw it to him every time down. Nolly at the end of the shot clock. Oh, contract for three more years here at Wake Forest, so. Find a way to turn it around as Childress. How much better will they get? You know, I think it's so fascinating because for the better part of this college basketball. There's a lot of value to being in college. Look, could they make money and should the system, the amateurist, amateurism system be worked? Absolutely. They'd ever play them. Yeah, I don't think they'd ever play them both. But, but in terms of Aguama playing more minutes, they, they just needed SARS production. Might give it a little teardrop in the lane. And a beautiful outlet on the inbound. And a layup for Tyrese Radford. Radford is having himself a night. Career high in both points and rebounds. He's got 20 and 13. And here's what Wake always does. Radford extending the career high. Got 22. Too little, too late for Childress. Tech back ahead by 12. See if this is Wake's final possession. Over the top to Saar. Lays it in with the left hand. Means they'll likely look once again to foul and extend this game. Expect him to shoot it really well. He is ice cold, but no matter, Virginia Tech salts it away, and Mike Young and the Hokies are 4-2 in ACC play.